Hello, friends. So this new tool, Interactive Maps. So you can see at a glance, a few pointers are mentioned here. So this will show you where your customer are, where your stores are, all the details are mentioned here. So if I just zoom, you'll see the, the numbers are getting a breakup here. So you see his three mentioned. So let us focus on this three. If I further zoom, you see this three, this has got broken up into this one and then two. If I further break it up and then you will see, yeah, you see now? So this one, this one and this one actually were the three numbers. So now what is the benefit? So if someone clicks on this marker, clicks on this marker, you see on the right hand side, you get few details. So you can also close it from here. So all the details are also mentioned here, whatever data. And again, all these things are customizable. What you want to show in this table, what you want to show here, everything is customizable from the sheet, which I'll just show you. So if you just zoom in, you will see, uh, I can see like where our students are, where our company participants are. We just get a, a nice idea here. So this you can also create in your organization. We are using one of the maps facility, not Google Maps, because Google Maps is not allowing us uh, because it's, it takes it takes some you know amount to get this done. So we are using some other open source maps. So now let us look into the sheet. Okay, uh, also few things here. You can also search a lot. So as you can see, I've done some. You can do some branding. You can put in a logo. You can put a header name here. Also, you can put the name of the tab here. You can search anything. You can reset the complete data what is being shown here, you can filter, you can search by uh, name, search by full name, you can search by state. For example, if I just put the state of Madhya Pradesh. So now see only Madhya Pradesh data is shown here, that's 46. If I just reset it, so all the data is coming. I can search anything here, if I want to search by a particular name, I can do all this thing. So let us come to the sheet now, how does it look like? So the data is completely up to you, you can put anything, you can put anything. Just that you no know, latitude and longitude is one thing which we require. Rest, uh, whatever, whatever rows, whatever columns you want to insert, you can insert. So just by uh, you can put the dates here, put the reference, uh, client name, their business, their cities, all these things you can do here. Uh, and then you'll get the latitude, longitude. You will get it automatically here once you put the address here. Try to put the address in detail, okay? And you'll get the latitude, longitude here. This will come automatically. Even if you want it immediately, you can just go to CIT box and then click on get, get latitude longitude. You can get this also from here. Okay. And uh, once the detail comes, so this is the base of this complete map. So the, the maps detail that is shown here is coming from this only now. So this is the data. So data, there's no restriction. A uh, few settings. So first thing is header text. So CIT box line. So I'll just correlate one. This is CIT box lines. This is CIT box line. So this is the header. You can just put the name here. You can put any header font you want. You can select any color you want. So I put in my brand color here. So that's why it's showing this uh, light green color. You can also decide upon a size. So all the samples you'll be getting here, how this color will look, how this font will look. So header font size, you see, this will look like this. So this is the font size, which is looking, which is coming here. Logo link. So it's better to put your logo company logo to make it a bit personalized. So you can uh, put in your logo here and also where do you want, if someone, uh, where do you want the person to go once the person clicks on this logo? So that link also you can mention here. Now this is interesting zoom level. So four and five is sort of ideal, which I found. This is the, how the view will come. If you put uh, maybe there's some drop down options. If you suppose if you put two, so what will happen is this is the default view, which we'll get. So something like this, something like this. This is your view in two, which is not very ideal. So if you have worldwide customers, then maybe view something like this, like this is good. 
So this will be around four. But if you have a very specific data, like just in North India or just in South India, you can further go it do like this. So this uh, zoom level will be around seven, eight or 10. So you can just try it out. Just put the zoom level and refresh the page. You will get, and then you can decide which one is ideal for you. Deployed link. So as always in any interactive list, uh, go to the extensions, go to app script. So this is the deployed URL. And also you see here CIT box clients written. So this is coming from here itself. The so same name will be coming from there. So where for deploying, what you need to do is just click on this button, deploy, click on new deployment and give a description, execute as your email ID and who has access, anyone has access and then click on deploy. Okay, you will get a URL. Just copy the URL and paste it here for future reference. So URL will look something like this, script.google.com. Okay, reset and search, you have option. Do you want to show or not? So yes means search and reset is showing. If you put no, this button and this, uh, this uh, search window will not be there. So these are the options. There are different filters. So let me explain you the filters now. So first of all, first of all, you need to suppose I'm coming with the data now, not the map. So these are the data which is showing below. So what you want to show you, what you don't want to show you is also possible. How? So suppose, as you can see, a uh, full address, as you can see here, maybe latitude, longitude, although it's there in the Google sheet, it's not showing here. Why? Because as you can see here, I have mentioned hidden here. So anything you want to hide, for example, you can see some phone numbers here. Okay. I will now try to remove it from here. So where is mobile number here? Okay. So what is show? I'll come to it later. So suppose I'm writing hidden. So what is hidden now? If I just refresh this URL, hidden is the part which will be hidden from here. So now you will see the mobile number shouldn't be here. You see here the mobile number is not showing. So because you have written hidden here. Okay. Now what are this uh, filters? search filter? As you can see company, I've mentioned search filter. So you are getting this search filter. You can just type, okay, whatever you feel like. So there was no relevant one. So let me write CBX. So maybe you'll get one. Okay. Now full name also, as you can see, this is a filter. So let me go to the sheet in full name. You find search filter. Now there's another different filter here. Category filter. As you can see here, category filter, you see here category filter. So this is more of a drop down because this is a state. I want a drop down thing. I don't want to search it. So you see a drop down is coming here. You see the small icon drop down. Now you can search anything from here. Suppose I want to search uh, Gujarat. So you see now you will get only the Gujarat data here. Okay. Again, these are all dummy data, by the way, these are all dummy addresses. Uh, next is uh, hide. There's one more tab called hide here. This one, sorry, hidden. Hidden we've seen. Now next is show. What is the show? Now if I, Click on this further. Let me just try to get a marker. Yeah, this is the marker. So let me click on this marker. So as I click on this marker, you see a few details, company details written, and then all the relevant men things mentioned here. Now you can also hide or show whatever you want to show. Suppose phone number. Suppose I don't want to show a phone number. Simply what I'll do is where is show written? I will just remove this show. And then I'll just refresh this. So basically you just need to write show if you want to show anything. And if you don't write show, it will not show here. That's it. So just need to write show here. Now there are in phone number show was written. I removed it. Now hidden is also written here, but hidden is not for this marker view. Hidden is for this one, the lower portion where I've hidden it. Okay. But let me just go back to this once again, Vijaywara. Now you will see the mobile number is not there. Okay. So like this, you can show whatever you feel like. Now you see that endless possibilities. What you want to do with this sheet uh, is very nice. If you want to show your customers, your operation factories, your departments, or your branch offices, multiple things can be done. So like what I'm trying to show you here is suppose this is a 
interactive view of our clients. Where are our clients based out of? It's a dummy data, but still uh, something like this. You get an idea. So we have clients all over India. We can get an example here. So all these things are shown here. So this is it. So this is how you'll be able to run the sheet. And anytime we make an update to this sheet, few suggestions will come. I know a few things will be updated. So once we say that the updation has been done, you simply click on this button, CIT box, click on update status. And then just update the library. So current one is 10, maybe whatever next library comes in, you can update this. And then just refresh the sheet where everything will be updated. And in most of the cases, the script URL also will remain the same. You don't have to change it. So this is the new tool which we have created. Uh, try to use it and uh, let us know what further improvements you want or if you can add a few more features. Uh, like directions and all, we tried adding, but because this is not Google Maps, so maybe you cannot add directions. We tried, you know, you can just travel here, just put a directions, which Google Maps, of course, is chargeable. Their APIs are chargeable, but we have tried giving you some other views here. So thank you so much. Uh, do let us know if you require any support here or anything you want is missing out it. Do let me know. Thank you so much.